Hey, um, I started this project about a month ago, uh, calling it a treehouse, and it seems like most people recognize it as a treehouse. It's not in a tree, but it's in the trees. Um, kind of, you know, I, I sort of plan this out a lot, like I usually do things, um, but then tried to use whatever materials I could get a hold of while we're not going to stores too much. Um, I got a bunch of lumber delivered in the beginning. That was about a month ago. There was a work, a, a week of furious work and then kind of less work and then a week off. And so uh, it's all come together now mostly. And um, the most of the stuff, you know, like the windows came from Craigslist. The plan was always to have windows as the front wall. And uh, you know, like the siding came from a neighbor that was getting rid of it. And um, a lot of the other materials, just stuff that we found. Um, but like I said, the lumber came from a lumber place in town it has some extra stuff so I made this little rack underneath to store some of that wood um, the ladder is sort of a strange design and uh, there was a reason for that but I won't get into that uh, the um, one of the cool features is this counterweight so when you open the hatch door the counterweight sort of keeps it from slamming on your fingers which is sort of nice and the stairway is pretty narrow so this is more like for a kid size here's what it looks like inside so um, got screened windows on either side and a medicine chest that we found it's just kind of cool because when you're out on the street you sort of get this uh, reflection of the windows when you look into the treehouse so it's pretty cool um, the fasteners from the windows <laughs> Fasteners from the windows uh, I was able to use so that some of these windows open which is nice uh, I haven't quite figured out this hoisting thing you know it's of limited usefulness anyway because you can't really have open windows where kids are so I guess this is more of an adult hoist um, but that's fine and uh, the roof you know like the like I said most of the plans um, stay the same as I as I built this uh, one of the only things that I think I kind of screwed up is in my original plan the two plywood uh, floorboards met uh, along a joist which would make sense but in this the joists go the other way so that's the only thing that I think I can point to where I'm like oops um, these louvered window panels we just happen to have in the garage and so uh, they've got some screen. This one doesn't have it yet, but there's screen on there so to keep the bugs out. And then the, the way the roof evolved, it changed a little bit from the original design. And so the, there was never really a good way of uh, closing this gap. At one point I had a plywood roof and shingles, which would be easier. But uh, in this case, the space between the top of the wall and the roof, I didn't really have a good plan. So what I ended up doing in the end is this uh, haphazard version, which we'll get figured out later, but um, kind of just enclosing the ceiling instead of worrying about the space between the ceiling and the roof. So uh, in theory, a bird or something could come in above the ceiling, but that's not a big deal. Mostly this to keep out insects, but we did have <laughs> a, a bird's nest to start growing in here. And so, uh, I was trying to avoid that, so I just kind of stapled this up really quickly. These top spaces have screens in them that you may not be able to see. So that's it. Here's the, the view. We've got our house and uh, another, there's like an ash tree and these giant pine trees. Um, I'm not sure what this tree is that's in the back, but um, that's the tree that we're mostly under. It's really cool in here when it rains um, on a, the aluminum roof. Um, and that's about it. Um, I guess we'll start decorating the inside a bit, but you know, it'll probably look mostly like this. We have some, um, we have some chalkboard paint, which interestingly is clear. Uh, so what I may do is spray paint some part of this with uh, flat black spray paint, maybe, you know, in between these, um, studs and, uh, and then, then I actually have some magnetic paint might put that on next and then finally the chalkboard paint which is clear and so it'll be uh, interesting surfaces on all the walls so that you can put magnets on there or um, or chalk and um, that's it I think uh, 
you know, I tried to use whatever we had around. So I've got these brackets for the, the rafters and I didn't end up using them. I used something else. So uh, I ended up using those to reinforce these windows just so no kid could fly out of a window by accident. Um, and I'm trying to figure out where else we're able to be resourceful. Um, I think that's about, oh, these screens. These screens were all <laughs> on a neighbor's, uh, like in front of a neighbor's house. They were getting rid of them. So I kind of designed all the windows to match these screens and I got a bunch of extras. Um, and we use these dinosaurs to try and keep the birds from roosting in certain places below. I'm not sure if that works. That was Doria's idea. Um, okay, that's about it. And uh, see you later.